Hey, prehistoric crew. What's going on? It's been a while since I worked on this thing. I don't know, probably a month or so. I'll look at the last video. I haven't done any napping at all recently. You can see I'm all snowed in here. Everything's covered. I might try and finish this. Um, probably won't work on it today, but I'm going to try and finish it within the week because I'm just going to go ahead and make the official announcement right here. Whatever this turns into, I'm thinking maybe a maybe a Clovis or no, it's probably too thin at the base. I need to thin it down in the middle. I might make a nice side or corner notched point here. Anyways, whatever it turns into, I'm going to give this away to one of my viewers here to celebrate 500 subscribers. I'm really close now. I'm at 494 at the moment as I film this. So I just need six more before I hit that 500. By the time this is posted, I'll probably have surpassed it. I usually get around 15 or 20 per month at this point, so I gotta post the first two parts of this video first, and then this is gonna be part of the third part. I'm gonna get my... Oops. I did some kind of reshaping, re facing, you know, refaceting of my indirect punch here, little antler bit, so I got a better kind of a dull flat point. It was all pretty battered up around, you know, now it's a nice hard antler surface. It should work, work a bit better for this project. Anyways, I'm going to thin this out a little bit more. And we'll see what it turns into. The countdown to 500 begins. Cheers. Alright, well, it's been a while since I did any napping. Probably a couple weeks. It's been much longer since I did any indirect percussion work with my punch here. I'm going to try and thin this down further. need to start with this high spot down here then remove the rest of the cortex I said it's been a minute since I did any punch work but I dressed the bit down the other day got it ready for this here it goes Try and get it all on camera Let's 
So I'll start at the base and work my way up. antlers a little cold and damp probably Nice one. Yeah, that was a really good one. Went all the way across. Almost all the way across, anyways. Covering flake. Wasn't great. That kind of fixed that last flake a little bit.
So like I said before, whatever this turns into, I'm going to give away on the channel for hitting 500 subscribers, which I should do any day now. Thanks to all 500 of you who, sus who subscribed so far. It's been quite the journey over the last five years or so doing all this. Growing a lot faster this year. And I just, you know, I appreciate this channel for being a, an outlet where I can do something and share it with people. You know, especially the last couple years over the pandemic and everything. It's been pretty tough to connect with people. And this has kind of been my way of doing that. So thanks to all of you for joining along. Whatever this turns into, you can win. All you got to do is leave a comment on one of the videos in this series. It'll probably be a five or six part series, I guess. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a like on this video or one of the other ones in this series. And also comment on one of those videos. If you do all three of those, uh, I'm going to use this, you know, program that'll pick out everybody who who does all those things. I'll put everyone in a list, and I'll pick the name on the channel somehow at some point. Once we get enough people signed up, and, you know, it's kind of funny, but most of my... Most of my videos are watched by people who aren't subscribers to the channel. Something like... Like 85% of the views I get are from people who are not subscribed. So considering I have 500 subscribers, it's pretty wild to think about how many people are watching these videos. But anyways, to those of you who aren't subscribed, if you want to win whatever this thing is going to be, then you're going to have to subscribe, like, and comment. So, cheers. Back to napping. Whoops, that was a bad one, okay. Time to go into damage control mode. Let's try and get rid of this cortex properly this time. the angle wrong. I had it coming down this direction, but I should have angled it off this way. That's what I was trying to do. I think I just kind of went the wrong way by accident there. Not quite sure what happened. It's all about angles. Got some of it fixed up.
bad spot right there. Just trying to get rid of it. There we go. Just had to get the right angle. Try and build up a strong platform to come back up this face with the cortex on it. I think I'm gonna need to do some direct percussion with my antler billet to try and get into here. Maybe I can do it with the indirect, but I think I need some more power. I'm already at 15 minutes on here. I should probably end it. After this flake, whatever happens, happens. You can see how much I've used this thing and how flattened out it is here. It used to be quite rounded. So, you know, I used to swing it this way and I would connect like that, but now I can't really get a lot of power if I hit it like that. But this other side here, is much more suited for it and I can swing it better so I've been taking my big flakes like that so I just have to change my swing a little bit because the striking point is closer to the center of the working face here so I'm swinging it and I'm looking here but I'm hitting here because I'm used to swinging this thing Anyways, so I need to kind of aim here to be able to hit here, so that's what I'm going to do. Gotta hold this thing nice and stable. Perfect. Well, that's a nice way to end that video. Part three of this series. One of the best flakes I've taken in a while. That fixed a lot of this step fracturing here. Got rid of the majority of the rest of the cortex, there's just a little bit left there. Getting thinner, still maintaining a good, you know, decent amount of width. I can take some more flakes down here, flip it over, take some more flakes this way, and then finish it probably. I won't be able to get it super thin, but, you know, with authentic tools natural tools like stone and bone you know the aim isn't to get it super thin the aim is to make the you know the flaking pattern pretty nice and authentic looking and to get a usable tool in the end something that would look like you know you could use it rather than just something that looks nice anyways on to part four in a bit